You guys, it is happening. We are about to head to the hospital very soon. We have all our things packed up. We packed two separate suitcases. One is for during labor and then postpartum. Have our little cord banking. Feeling excited and nervous, super excited to meet our baby, but I absolutely just don't know what to expect. So I'm just really trying to stay calm and stay present. Just ate our breakfast. We're about to drive over. Long story short, our doctor, we collectively decided that it's better for me to get induced. So that's what we are doing. It's happening. I'm so excited to meet you. We have the Duna. We're ready to go. Our hospital pillows back there. We got this baby girl. There's my hula. It's my husband, Dula. <laughs> Clearly, we are at the hospital right now. It's almost four, so I've been here for like roughly six hours. Got a deuced, so we did the balloon, steady Pitocin drip, and we're just waiting for the contractions to kick in. It's like showing up on the monitor, but I don't feel anything yet. So we'll see. Um, this room is actually so nice because there's like a really big window. So I'm really just trying to like pace myself here. I'm like, okay, let me just keep myself occupied while maintaining my energy because we're talking about how this is a marathon, which it truly is. still still bloated we are four days postpartum freaking roller coaster we are headed to kira's first pediatrician appointment okay let's go <laughs> Look at you. It's fucking natural, everybody. I just booked a session with his lactation consultant. <laughs> Here we're going to talk about <laughs> lactation. Everything you need to know from engorgement to colostrum, transitional milk, full cycle feeding, vacuum levels milk storage and how to transition your baby into night feeding and full nights of sleep. I literally don't know half the things he just said. This is Dr. Pumps coming in, <laughs> your favorite lactose consultant, not lactation, but lactose consultant. We're gonna talk about ice cream here. We have our first milk. <gasps> Guys, look. I'm so fascinated by this. This is like my first time doing my full face today and I literally almost forgot 
how to do my face, how to do my makeup. I figured it's actually nice to get ready because every day I look like I rolled out of bed because literally I did. So in postpartum, I've been taking it really, really easy. Um, obviously sleep deprivation is a real thing. So I've just been really trying to take care of my body with like what I'm putting into my body, what I'm eating. Lots of like hearty bone broths, a lot of Korean seaweed soup, which is called Byokuk. I've been eating that every day, probably like three, two or three times a day. And in Korean culture, we don't eat anything cold. We only eat warm foods and it's a very specific diet that I'm on, but I really personally am enjoying it. I feel like it's fueling my body, giving me all the really good nutrients. And um, I have a ravenous appetite because I am breastfeeding. So she's eating a lot. And then also another thing that I've been doing is incorporating the ritual postnatal multivitamin into my routine. I feel like there's a lot of conversation. A lot of people are aware of the prenatal vitamin, but I feel like there's not much conversation about a postnatal multivitamin. It's actually really important because during this really chaotic time where it is really, really hard to prioritize yourself, but it's also feeding my body really good nutrients and my baby good nutrients as well. The ritual postnatal multivitamin is formulated to meet the new nutrient demands for a new mom six months postpartum and also throughout lactation. But even if someone is not breastfeeding, postpartum is just so nutritionally demanding that it is so helpful to work in a postnatal vitamin. And I love Ritual. I've been taking Ritual for a really long time. I really like them because they're just high quality. They're available in bioavailable forms. They're made traceable. And also they have the delayed release capsule, which I really like because I have a sensitive stomach. So it's quite gentle on the stomach and you can take it with or without food. It has vitamins to help support normal immune function, support brain health, and to help support fatty acid content of breast milk and lactating women. And it also has iodine and nature identical biotin and choline to support women's increased nutrient requirements during lactation. Do we know it? This is again, a really important, if not more important time and nutritionally demanding time for my body. So I'm just like, yes, I need these supplements. So if you'd like to give Ritual a try, you can use my code ellenvilora 30 at Ritual to get 30% off your first month. And if you don't love Ritual in the first 30 days, the first order is on them. A month into postpartum and I finally feel like Things are going a little more smoothly. I'm getting a handle on things, but let me tell you, I was not prepared for postpartum. Even if I was prepared, I feel like I would have still been unprepared. I just felt there's so much conversation. And even for me too, I like prepped and was like very intentional about my pregnancy and my nutrition and like self care during pregnancy. But I put like just not much energy into <laughs> postpartum. I just didn't know it would be so intense. It was an absolute roller coaster for me. The first two weeks, I was like literally teetering between like my heart is literally bursting and like overflowing with this new found magnitude of love for our baby girl. But also, there were like times where like it was hard for me to get out of bed and I was just so emotional and I would just cry. And it's just like uncontrollable crying. Later I learned it's called baby blues. I feel like that faded away luckily in the first two weeks. So the last two weeks have been like much better. So my plan from like the jump was natural labor. People have told me stay really flexible with your plans and I'm so glad that I did. So basically I was right at like my 39 week mark and we met with my ob -Gyne. And she recommended for me that it was best for the baby to deliver within 39 to 40 weeks. Like that was just like the best, healthiest baby. So I was like, absolutely, let's do it because I don't want to go past my due date. I'd rather just have optimal health for my baby. So that's why I plan to get induced. With that said, my birth plan changed, but I'm actually really happy with the way it went down because I think with, you know, induction you're scheduled and you go in although they do have to basically kickstart your labor so i was in the hospital girl i don't even know overall i have actually had a really good birth experience because i got induced and then as for the labor portion of it i was in labor for 12 hours and then when it came to like the pushing part baby girl came out in two contractions so i think i basically delivered in 10 minutes which is really quick and the reason being is because the first round of pushes that we did, the doctor was like, oh, her heart rate is dropping. We might have to vacuum her out. And that was one of the things where I, first of all, didn't want to do vacuum. And I, that scared me that her heart rate was dropping. So I feel like in the next round of pushes, I just like gave it my all and then she delivered. And like, 
So I feel like even while editing this vlog, I was just getting like emotional all over again just like reliving that moment and what it was like to like see her at first i was like holy shit it's they literally you know they pull her out and then put her on your chest and i was just like mind blown i just like couldn't believe it I also couldn't believe that she has been living and growing in my belly for nine months like pregnancy and women i've always had so much respect for women and mothers but this just set it to a whole nother level i and also i didn't even know this could happen but i bruised my tailbone while delivering so that added just like another layer of it being physically really demanding because you know your your body is recovering you know down there i had tore but in comparison to the tailbone injury the tour i was like this ain't nothing i literally couldn't even like sit down or stand up on my own so that made breastfeeding in the beginning a little bit challenging but luckily it smoothed over i do have like a little bit of pain still it's just like dull uncomfortable pain though before it was like sharp shooting pains which i really hope that no one ever gets a bruised tailbone during delivery because that shit is intense so all in all during this postpartum period i'm really taking my time to really heal and like being really gentle on myself and staying in my newborn bubble enjoying it you know people say the days are long but the years are short i feel like that for the days are long but the month was short it went by like that and then even when i look at photos of her from a month ago she just looks so tiny even though she's still so tiny i want to show you guys kind of like this impromptu nursing area that we set up or this little side table so i can feed and like kind of work there um, we also had this ottoman before, but then this entire section we ended up just like buying quite last minute. I'm really into it. I feel like it kind of completes the room. So we got this little changing mat from Hatch. Um, we also have the Kika room one in the nursery. This one's actually quite nice as well. And you can take your baby's weight. Enjoy life. 